let's explore on how to create an invoice in stripe let's begin now the first thing you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time here in stripe you might want to click on the sign up option here because creating an account is a very straightforward and easy process all you're gonna do is provide your email address your full legal name your country or your region that you are located and of course click on the create account option and then you are all set now once you are on the dashboard of your account here in stripe creating in an invoice is a straightforward uh, process because all you're gonna do is go to the left side panel of your dashboard click on more and obviously when you reach the accept payments all you're gonna do is click on the create invoices or send invoices now when you do that what will happen is as you can see you have the option to create here if you have the list of invoices down here you would see all of them but for now say um you have the status for created due date amount and more filters but for now let's click on the create invoice and as you can see here maybe let's find and find or you can find or add a test customer say for example we're going to be using helpful harv and this is going to be the date right now you can add the single one-time items or products from your product catalog now if you're interested about checking the product catalog click on this option and once here if you have your product catalogs here you would be able to see all these sections here from your coupons shipping rates tax rates pricing tables and a lot more right if you have that with you you can put that to the invoice that we are creating but of course if you wanted you can add the first product here but that's going to be for a separate video let's head over again to our invoice now once we're back as you can see you can request a payment you can create an invoice requesting payments on a specific date say for example you are looking forward to the next month which is may 24th maybe now as you can see there are tags here ca card cash app pay bank transfer link ach direct debit wechat pay you can also click on the manage payment methods we're in as you can see these are the available for the invoice you can actually click on this section if you wanted you can also show unavailable for this uh, invoice which is going to be uh, the after pay or clear pay alipay and a lot more but of course for you to be able to use all of them you need to activate it all right and these are the currencies or regions that they are mostly available say for example for um giro pay it's going to be in euro paypal is euro plus 13 uh, countries and click on save now you can also have the option for the auto charge customer when you click on it as you can see just put in the uh, card number be it debit card mastercard credit card or you can simply add a card here if you wanted after putting all the information you also have an additional inform options for a memo right here you can put um, a small message once it's confirmed click on confirm you can even ha add a footer right here so these are customizable additional options for you like for the custom fields say for example um you can have a field value and add the custom field if you wanted you also have an option for the tax id but that's a separate video connected to creating a tax here which you might want to check in our channel and for the pdf page size you have the option for the a4 and the letter right and as you can see at the very bottom you can also select a template now you can create a new template from scratch or you can manage all templates right here when you do that you will be given to a new option wherein you can have your own branding so you can change how your invoice or emails receipts and payment page look like of course you also have the option for business information invoice numbering invoice pdfs manual 
tax amount rounding in a lot more but for now let's head over to the uh, create a new template and from here just click on the create template and enter your name you can create a group if you wanted All right once you've done that You can create group and of course you can click on the create template and once you've done that there's going to be an error but for now and once you've done that basically your invoice is already part of the invoices that you have created here right you can have the option to download pdf you can duplicate this invoice you can delete that or you can even view the customers inside the invoices that you have created and that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one